Hey guys, so it's Polka here. Um, someone has been um, encouraging me. I was going to say bothering, but let's say encouraging me to make a guide for the Pimpernel um, for use strictly with Gage. Um, because it is a little different than if you're using it with Zero. Some of the spots I find are placed a little differently. Um, this is, I, I'm not sure how in-depth I'm going to go because there is a lot to cover with a pimp and why it's good with Gage. Um, suffice to say that it is amazing with Gage. Um, I'll, I'll get started with some of the basics, okay? Um, I mean, we do have the general, um, what is it, Cunning Boar Guide or the Pimpernel Guide, I think, that Coontail made from the forums. Um, that does cover sweet spots and it's a amazing guide and it is very close to what us gauge users should be doing um you know uh, for humanoid enemies you generally aim at the crotch uh, robots shoulders um you know constructors the eyes whatnot general areas are the same but it's a little different if you're using gauge for some reason um, first off, you know, I don't have any relics that affect the pimp I'm trying. Um, I'm going with a shock because fire does extra damage on flesh, and we want accurate readings. So, um, apart from that, nothing, no class comms or anything that boosts, um, that damage. No skills, I don't have YDT. Um, more pep only boosts, what is it, um status effects, so that doesn't matter. Um, bar is off, of course, so we'll just be starting with zero stacks. Um, okay, here's the thing. As most of us know, hopefully, the um, Pimpernel shoots out four orbs after making contact with a target. Um, shooting different places will result in different damage. Um, for zeros, it's said that you do want the crotch area, which should be right there. I found that for gauge users, about the navel is best. And um, it's really amazing how precise you have to be. Okay, look. I mean, 4-9. Move a little, scoot a little over, it changes. Scoot a little over, and that's the spot we want. It's it's really picky. Okay, hang on. Let me Discord. And I will show you the actual damage now. Cause um Okay, what makes the Pimpernel great? Well, first of all, you you can this is effective at OP eight with no stacks. Um, you're not going to solo any raids with a Pimpernel without any stacks, but um, mobbing, you can totally build up anywhere in-game, and that includes um, story mode bosses, sub-bosses, and mini-bosses. But okay, let's get a general idea. So you get that spot. Okay, that's the kind of damage we're looking at. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to get another shot. That was a bad shot. Okay, there we go. Um, 6,000k, 274k, 411k. Um, the rest is status damage. But um, that's basically what we're looking at for damage without any stacks. Let's see if I can get it constant. Yeah, there we go. As long as you're hitting that right place, these numbers will not change. See, I moved a little bit there. That's what we're looking at. Um, let's remember those numbers, especially the, um, the numbers from the orb, the 274k and the 411k. Okay. Let's go ahead and reload. Now we've got 26 <laughs> stacks. I was hoping for 25, but, um, that one skill, rational, I think, kicked in, but whatever. Um, here we go. Now we've got 598k. The upper number is different, but that's because I shifted a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, you can see the 398k is hiding the 5-something-k number. Okay, what this means is that not only does the base shot 
of the Pimpernel get boosted by however many Anarchy stacks you have, but the secondary orbs that split from the initial hit point get the same boost. Which is what makes the Pimp so good with Anarchy, because each one of those four orbs get full Anarchy boosts. Um, basically, let me show you again. Okay, that's a good shot. We had 411. Now I have 26 stacks, which is about a 44... Yeah, about a 44% damage boost. Um, 411 times 1.44 is about 598. Which means, yeah, each of those orbs are receiving full anarchy boosts. And that goes the same with the base shot, too, as long as you hit that sweet spot. So, yeah, not only is the base damage of the pimp getting boosts, but each one of those orbs is getting undivided anarchy boosts. Yeah, you really start seeing some pretty big numbers. <laughs> Just imagine this at high stacks. <laughs> Which, let's find out. Now, um, like every gun, the more anarchy stacks you have, the more broken the pattern's going to be. However, um, kind of like those unique shotguns that I covered in that previous video, um, the Pimpernel tends to break a little less. Okay, we've got 200 now. Um, so we're gonna go everywhere, but... There's a good shot. However, you can always Discord. Better accuracy. Uh, that's more like it. That was a good shot. That was in the sweet spot. <laughs> Needless to say, um, if you have big targets like Terramorphus, who I use the Pimpernel on, every shot is most likely to hit. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I actually can show you a little something. Okay, now, let me adjust my stacks. Let's just go with 25, whatever. <clears throat> now, it is OP8, so yes, we're going to use slag. Um, I have, you know, you can take down enemies without slag, of course. But, um, why do that when slag is available? <laughs> Let's go to Heroes Pass. I just want to see if I can get a few enemies away. And DT is my distraction. He is slagged. I only have 25 stacks. It does pretty well. Now it is doing damage, but keep in mind. You know, this is Hero's Pass. I have a lot of videos actually, that I have done with the um, Pimpernel, um, Gage with the Pimpernel, I like to call the Snipinator, and most people who know my videos know that already, but, um, you know, I've done both the quote-unquote new raid bosses, <laughs> which are pathetic on their own. Um, Terramorphous, OP8, um, 
Bunker with zero stacks, Leviathan with zero stacks, um, Jackenstein starting with 100 stacks, not to mention countless areas in the game that I've taken on with Pimpernels, with Gage, um, varying from zero to about 100 or 150 stacks. Um, let's take a look at how much that pattern does break. Um, let's just go 400. Now it does break, which is why you have to be point blank or in an enclosed space for this to work. Um, I do have 400, I changed my stack count to 400. It doesn't deviate that much though, it, it's not like it goes over there when you're aiming over here. It's not like the DPUH. It goes relatively well where you're aiming, especially if you scope in. It tends to deviate less. But still, against larger targets or enclosed areas, it is an amazing sniper rifle, even with high stacks. Um, I mean, there's a reason I took on Terramorphus with this thing. <laughs> And it worked on both modes. It's OP0 and OP8. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what else to cover with a Pimpernel other than just experiment around and learn the different enemy spots. Um, again, Coontail's threat, I think, or was it Seraph's? Um, one of those amazing Zero Sniper dudes made a thread dedicated to the sweet spots of the Pimpernel. Um, if I find the link, I will link it in the description, but um, it is a great reference for gauge players wanting to learn the Pimpernel. So yeah, I hope someone got something out of this, and um, if people want me to go more in depth on different enemies, uh, or Terramorphous, you know, raids, mini bosses, whatever, just tactics in general, let me know, and I'll do that because... You all know I need something desperately to do in BL2, or else I'm going to start playing GTA or something, and I hate GTA. So yeah, thanks for watching, um, you guys take it easy.